Good afternoon, Turks and Caicos. It's Wednesday, the 26th of October, 2022, and I'm here to update you on the policing activity which has been conducted within the last week. Policing operations have been undertaken by teams comprising of officers from the Royal Turks and Caicos Arms Police Force and our colleagues from the Royal Bahamas Police Force. I remain grateful to the Commissioner of Police for the Royal Bahamas Police Force, Mr. Clayton Fernanda, and the Bahamian Government for their continued support to the Turks and Caicos Islands. Our Bahamian colleagues are working side by side with local officers, tackling criminality and criminals. Our combined team remains relentless in pursuing those who carry firearms, those who deal in drugs, those who are seeking to commit robberies and burglaries, and those that are causing fear and harm. If you're involved in crime, don't think our operations are ending anytime soon. If you have a family member involved in crime, expect officers to be at your door. Expect them to be in your house. Criminals cannot hide amongst family and families cannot hide criminals. Officers on the ground continue to be supported through our aerial colleagues from US law enforcement and the United Kingdom Royal Navy Wildcat Helicopter. These support mechanisms are protecting the border of the TCI, which includes the routes frequented by criminals traversing the TCI by illegally entering and leaving. We have strong collaborative relationships with our US colleagues, and I anticipate that their support will continue into the future, hovering in the skies of the TCI. In terms of investigation, it is expected that a large number of investigators will be arriving from the UK and funded by the United Kingdom government. These officers will support our local investigation teams, ensuring the results of their hard work is supported by robust and thorough investigations, thereby causing criminals to face the full force of the law. In terms of operation, the last week has been a major success. A mixture of both visible and covert operations have been carried out, all of which was intelligence-led and targeting criminals. An operational summary from the last 10 days are as follows. 205 vehicles have been checked, numerous fixed penalty tickets issued, illegal tints removed from 23 vehicles, 20 drug searches, eight persons detained under immigration legislation, Four warrants executed in relation to searches for firearms. Two firearms and ammunition have been seized. Large quantities of drugs have been seized, including cannabis, cocaine and amphetamine. Seven people have been arrested for drugs and firearms offences. And laptops and cell phones have been seized for examination. A joint police and immigration operation resulted in the de detention of 21 people believed to be working illegally. The last 10 days has seen very little criminal activity and we are working hard to keep it that way. I can report that earlier this morning, Wednesday the 26th of October, a report was made of an attempted robbery in the South Dock area. The people involved escaped from the suspects without being robbed or harmed and this is under investigation. Additionally this week, the Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Force is also investigating a shooting incident in Q Town, which resulted in one man being injured. The circumstances of this incident are not yet clear. The Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Force are building a strong intelligence network concerning criminal activity, and I wish to recognise the overall support that we're receiving from the public, both in terms of your public gratitude for the hard work undertaken by the officers and for the information we are being provided with. I especially want to mention the generous tokens of thanks from some local businesses. Never underestimate how deeply the support from our community is felt by officers. We truly appreciate building collaborative efforts within our communities, which is a critical factor in ensuring the TCI is a safe and secure place to live, work, invest and visit. You'll be aware the recent gun amnesty has concluded. 
No weapons were surrendered, which is disappointing. However, the amnesty provided people with a route to hand over illegal weapons without any threat of prosecution. That opportunity has now passed. Any person found in possession of a firearm will now face the full force of the sentencing powers of our judges. Furthermore, progress has been made on the legislative front with the introduction of stricter penalties and amendments which will greatly aid in the fight against crime. The House of Assembly last week passed various national security legislation to deter criminals by increasing sentences for persons found in possession of firearms and ammunition and aid the police in the force of its duties. Criminals, should you be in possession of a firearm and ammunition in the TCI, there's a high percentage you will spend a large part of your life jailed. Additional legislation passed which will aid the fight against crime. This includes the Firearms Amendment Bill, the Police Force Amendment Bill, Interception of Communications Bill, Anti-Gang Bill and the Firearms Related Offences Detention and Bail Bill. You will continue to see officers on the road undertaking checks on vehicles, armed officers carrying out operations to neutralise criminals, 24-hour air support aiding our operational teams and keeping our borders safe and secure. I urge you again to get your number plates fitted and remove your illegal tints. We will continue to target vehicles. If you refuse to comply, then a fixed penalty tape notice will likely be issued. Please keep supporting our officers who are working day and night to protect you. Please keep telling us what you know. I assure you the information is making a real difference. And finally, please know that we are determined, resolute and committed to keeping the TCI safe and secure. I will aim to keep you updated regularly with what we are doing to keep you safe and the result of policing activities. The Royal Turks and Caicos Police Force remains focused on stifling the ease of access to illegal firearms and ammunition within our communities. Thank you, and may God bless you and these beautiful by nature Turks and Caicos are.